All right, buckle up, because this one's not your everyday leaked drone pick story. <laughs> We're talking about something that looks part sci-fi, part cinematic dream machine, and part did someone really think of this in a coffee shop at 3 a.m.? Yes, the mysterious anti-gravity drone. A fresh brand, incubated by none other than Insta360, has just popped up in the wild, and the leaks are delicious. The first thing, we still don't even know its real name. That's right, it's flying under the codename Anti-Gravity for now, and honestly, that just makes it sound cooler. <sighs> the images, leaked by the ever-reliable Igor Bigdanov, are giving us just enough to freak out, but not enough to calm down. DJI isn't just watching Insta360's anti-gravity dominate the headlines, they're stepping in to challenge it head-on. In the battle for 360-degree aerial supremacy, Insta360 lit the spark, but DJI is about to bring the storm, and the sky might never look the same again. The genius lens layout. Here's where things get really clever. The props and arms are positioned between two lenses, one on top and one on the bottom. Why? so that when you shoot in 360, those spinning blades of doom don't photobomb your masterpiece. Even if a tiny sliver of the prop guard does sneak into frame, it's placed right on the stitch line, the magic zone where 360 software blends the footage. Translation, it disappears faster than that one friend who just went to check the snacks during moving day. And because the drone is symmetrical on both sides, the stitching process is buttery smooth. No awkward shapes, no weird shadows. It's like the drone designed itself to be invisible in its own footage. Sneaky. Because nobody likes mid-flight fumbling. Another leaked image shows a bunch of batteries with green and yellow tabs. That's a big hint at a hot swappable or quick swap system. Imagine not having to wrestle with clips and latches while your perfect sunset shot is slipping away. Just pop one out, pop one in, boom, you're back in the air before your coffee even cools. When you first glance at it, the prop guards grab your attention and not in the, oh, that's just for safety kind of way. Now, these seem to be pulling double duty. Based on the design, and yes, a bit of educated guesswork, this drone might actually have two modes of being. One, regular flight mode. Lightweight, zippy, the kind of flying that makes you grin like a kid on Christmas morning. Two, 360 mode. Designed for fully immersive footage. The kind of shots that make your friends ask, wait, were you inside that scene? It's like the drone equivalent of someone who can do both high-energy karaoke and play the piano flawlessly. Now, here's the curveball. Someone was spotted holding what looks a lot like DJI's motion controller while wearing FPV goggles. Normally, that screams FPV racer drone. But here's the thing. This drone doesn't look like a racer. It's too polished, too cinematic. Not that bare bones, I'll crash into a tree at 90 miles per hour vibe. Instead, it looks like a machine built for precision and grace. The kind of drone you use to paint with light in midair. And in 360 video, that smooth control is everything. That's the million dollar question. Is this an FPV style hybrid? A dedicated 360 cinematic drone? Or something completely different that Insta360 has been cooking up behind the scenes? One thing's certain, because if this thing flies as good as it looks and hides itself in its own footage like some kind of aerial ninja, we're about to see some of the smoothest, most mind-bending drone videos the internet has ever witnessed. Now, if only they'd tell us the name. Because anti-gravity is cool, but my inner marketing brain is dying to know what's printed on the box. DJI's answer to Insta360's anti-gravity. When Insta360 dropped their sleek, futuristic anti-gravity 360 drone, the internet lost its collective mind. Smooth lines, invisible props, immersive video, it was like someone had just rewritten the rule book. But DJI? They didn't clap, they didn't tweet. <sighs> they just smirked and got to work. Now leaks suggest DJI is firing back with the panoramic UAV, a sub 250G drone designed to go toe to toe with Insta360's crown jewel. This isn't a casual response. It's DJI stepping onto the same battlefield with an arsenal. 8K 360 degree capture, three axis gimbal stabilization, 30 minute flight time, and 10 kilometers range, all in a compact, single body design. It's basically DJI saying, we like your style, Insta360, but watch this. If these early reports are right, 2025 won't just be about new drones. It'll be the year of the 360 showdown. Two giants, one market, and a sky big enough for only the best. Get ready, because the battle for immersive aerial dominance has officially begun. Let's talk about DJI Mini 5 Pro. 
But just when it felt like the drone world was going to give up and start flying paper airplanes instead, leaks swooped in like superheroes in propeller caps, with none other than Jasper Ellens and drone hacks saving the day. And oh boy, the Mini 5 Pro, this thing might just be the most overachieving mini drone DJI has ever cooked up. Like if the Mini 4 Pro went to the gym, got a new haircut, and decided it was done playing nice. DJI's Mini 5 Pro is delayed to September 2025 with Osmo 360 distractions and shipping chaos. US buyers left hanging like ordering pizza from a place that's vanished. The drone is real and leaks don't lie. DJI may be silent, but the Mini 5 Pro is loud and clear in the leak world. Renders look ready, packaging's leaked twice, one with RCN3, one with RC2, but here's the kicker, the boxes were hilariously misprinted. Even weirder, no under 249 gram label. Is DJI ditching the ultralight badge for raw, unapologetic power? A camera that punches way above its weight. Let's talk gear. The Mini 5 Pro is rumored to rock a 1-inch image sensor, which is a massive step up for the Mini series. That means better low-light performance, richer dynamic range, and deeper, creamier bokeh. In human terms, your drone shots are about to look a lot more cinematic and way less budget vacation vlog. It also shoots 4K at 120 FPS, perfect for buttery, smooth, slow motion. And then there's the mysterious 48mm MED mode, likely a smart digital crop using that big sensor to simulate a medium telephoto lens, giving your shot some punchy compression and focus. 225 degrees of gimbal rotation. That's not a typo. This opens the floodgates to wildly creative camera moves, tilt-ups, orbit shots, even smooth vertical transitions straight from Hollywood. And yes, vertical shooting is still there, so your TikToks, reels, and vertical stories will still look like Spielberg directed them. Remember the Mini 4 Pro's obstacle detection? It was good, but the Mini 5 Pro, it's rumored to come with omnidirectional sensors plus forward-facing LiDAR. LiDAR in a mini drone. That's insane. Think Iron Man's HUD level awareness. It'll dodge trees at dawn, chase cyclists under bridges, and probably avoid that one rogue pigeon that always photobombs your sunset shot. The Mini 5 Pro is expected to hit 36 minutes of flight time which is two minutes more than the Mini 4 Pro. That rumored 50-minute flight? <laughs> Likely tied to the heavier Plus battery, not the standard pack. Still, 36 minutes with all those sensors humming? Solid win. The mysteries left behind. We still don't know the final weight, OcuSync version, price, or even wind resistance. DJI is playing it real close to the chest. But let's be honest, the leaks are already doing the talking. The DJI Mini 5 Pro isn't just another Mini. It's shaping up to be the first true pocket-sized powerhouse. A drone that might ditch the 249 gram badge, but give us cinematic performance, wild gimbal flexibilities, smarter tracking, and gearhead level features.